Today I'm putting myself in the average user's shoes. I'm trying to configure this Akara P2 Fred Matter Sensor in Home Assistant and in HomeKit without any prior research. How difficult can it be, you might ask? Well, let's find out after the intro. Akara sent over this window and door sensor and also a very useful set of instructions. I have to admit that I actually opened them up this time and looked at them. The QR code is at the back of the instructions and that's what you're going to need to scan your device and add it to your smart home system. If you're wondering what's a FRED or Matter sensor, then stick around because I'm going to explain that towards the end of the video. Now I'm going to show you what I did to add this to a home kit. You're going to need at least an Apple TV or a HomePod or a HomePod mini. Basically you need a device that has thread matter compatibility. Once you've got that, go to the home app, tap the plus button, scan the QR code at the back of the booklet in this example. Ensure your device is in pairing mode and you should see this LED blinking. If not, you can just press on this button for five seconds and then it will start flashing. And then that's it, you put it to a room and you give it a classification, either a door, window, and then it will appear in your room. Overall, it's gonna take you really like 30 seconds, maybe a minute to set it up in HomeKit and it's all done and relatively simple. But what about Home Assistant? Well, if you don't know what Home Assistant is, Home Assistant is probably one of the most powerful home automation systems ever been built. It evolves a lot, but it's a bit of a learning curve. But if you want to accelerate that learning curve, you'll find a link in the description down below for my free home assistant course. If you're like a home kit user, you never used it before. Uh, check that out, it will jumpstart your learning. But anyway, as usual, with everything home assistant, I always go and jump into the documentation first. So I searched for integrations and I found that there's a Matter integration and there's a Fred integration. So which one to use? Oh, well, I was a bit confused. So I spent like maybe five, 10 minutes just trying to add stuff in to Home Assistant, clicking buttons here and there, getting a bunch of error messages all over the place. So I decided to stop what I was doing to actually read the documentation up fully before I was gonna to commit to trying to add this in one way or another. So let's quickly explain what the difference is between Matter and Fred. Fred is a technology, it's a radio communication technology similar to Zigbee. It uses mesh networking properties, so each of the points can connect to the other, that's what a mesh is. It's low power, and the key difference compared to Zigbee that it's IP addressable so that you can use IP addresses to address it. I've said address maybe too many times. If you are still confused, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll answer your questions. So for them to be addressable, you need a controller, a Matter controller specifically. So Matter is the integration that allows you to control FRED devices. And you can use your Wi-Fi network or your FRED network. So this works with one of the compatible border routers or routers. So instead of each vendor having their own hub, and then you can only connect those devices from those vendors connects to those hubs, this is supposed to solve that problem, supposedly. They run locally, so they don't really run on the internet, although some devices might need, require an internet connection while you're setting it up for the first time. Then you can also get a bridge that allows your Zigbee devices, like Q bridge, for example, version two, or I don't know what version we write, and that can actually allow you to use your Zigbee devices and add them to your FRED network in your mesh network. So a key thing that I actually established from reading all of the Home Assistant documentation and reading about all Matter and Fred, and let's say at this moment well, I'm 30 minutes in this configuration now, I figured out that you, I either need a Home Assistant Yellow or I need a Home Assistant Sky Connect, which is this dongle that has Zigbee and Fred. And I think at that point, you can get Home Assistant easily to integrate with Matter, Fred, and you can add those devices in. Basically, what you really just want, if you're a consumer, you just wanna add this window sensor to Home Assistant, and that's it, really. You, don't, you shouldn't really be um, knowledgeable about Fred, Matter, or you really shouldn't even know what it means. I think HomeKit does this really well, but it really hides the, all of those, those technical aspects and just for the random user can just scan a code and add something to their system, which is really what they want. They want to know the status of a door if it's open and closed. They don't really want to know what a mesh thread 
networking system is. So the only thing that actually confused me from, from the home system documentation, and I understand that this is all new and it's beta at the time of recording this video, so it might have changed depending on when you're watching this in the future. If you actually click on the thread integration and you go to configure, you can actually see that it does pick up that there are two border routers, the HomePod mini and the living room, which I believe that's an Apple TV. They, it does pick them up, but I click on them, I, it does nothing. If I click on this add open thread border router, it just is asking me for a URL and I don't really know which URL I need to put in. Basically, I'm stuck, like I, I don't know how to add stuff in. So I can say add data set from TLV, but then I don't know what a TLV is at this point. Operational data set, add data set. I mean, I can try to do this, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So the point is, I'm not saying it's impossible to do. I'm saying it's quite difficult to do without a yellow and a stick. I'm happy to learn and please let me know in the comment section down below where I'm going wrong. But the whole point of this video, just to sum it up a bit, was to look without research, without really being knowledgeable. Like you, normally you watch YouTube channels and you watch YouTubers and they give you a tutorial and they, it seems that they know everything and they're just explaining to you uh, in an easy and digestible way. And obviously they use editing to refine the product and you think, oh wow, I'm so thick that I can't, I can't get it and I just watched this video and they've got the solution. But the reality is if we want Home Assistant to become so sleek and a solution that's so easy to be adopted by the casual user, like I mentioned in a, in a video I made a couple of uh, weeks ago, then making these differences and seeing, then comparing things side by side, I'm, I'm doing the same thing, I'm trying to add a sensor into a system and comparing the two is quite important. So I will go out and I will purchase a Sky Connect stick I will put the stick on my Audroid N2 and I will test it. So if you want to find out how that goes, remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the video when I do create it. And if it's already been published, you can click it here. If not, you'll be suggested with one of my cool Home Assistant project videos. This was Jeff from Smile Makers. I hope you enjoy this one. See you next one. Ciao.